Hello, in this problem we're going to prove that the product of m odd integers is odd for all m greater than or equal to 2. Let's go ahead and go through the proof. So proof. We're going to do this with a proof by induction. So first recall what it means for an integer to be odd. So an integer n is odd. This is the same thing as saying that n is equal to, say, 2 times an integer p plus 1, where p is an element in the set of integers. So an integer is odd if it can be written as 2 times an integer plus 1. I just chose to use p in this case. OK, so this is an induction proof. And so our statement that we're trying to prove is this one here. The product of m odd integers is odd. I've underlined it. And I'm going to call that s sub m. This whole thing that's underlined is our statement. And we're trying to show that it's true for all m greater than or equal to 2. So the first step in an induction proof is the base case. In the base case, we have to show that our statement is true for the smallest positive integer in question. In this case, the smallest positive integer in question is m equals 2. So in other words, we have to show that the product of two odd integers is odd. So to do that, we'll just take two odd integers and look at their product. So take any two odd integers, say s and t. Then because they're odd, we can write them in the following way. We can say s is equal to 2a plus 1, and t is equal to 2b plus 1, or some a, b in the set of integers. And this is because they're odd. I didn't write it, but it's you know <laughs> implied. I'm saying it in words. So then, st. You, you probably should say it, by the way, like you should write, if you're doing this for like a class or something, uh, like you're in school, um, you, you want to say then because they're odd, so make sure to include that in your, in your proof. I'm saying it in words, but if you're writing this down and turning it in or something, uh, important to say. Then st is equal to 2a plus 1, 2b plus 1. And this is equal to, let's see, we can multiply this out, 2a times 2b is 4ab, 2a times 1 is 2a, 1 times 2b is 2b, 1 times 1 is 1. Then we can pull out a 2, so that'll be 2ab plus a plus b, All right? Just pulling out a 2 from all of these terms here, plus 1 where we know something now. We know that 2ab plus a plus b is an integer. So we've basically shown that the product st is equal to 2 times an integer plus 1. So that's exactly what it means for st to be odd. So this shows st is odd. Okay, so we've shown that uh, our statement is true when m is equal to 2. So thus, s sub 2 is true. Okay, the next step is the induction hypothesis. So I think this is sometimes where confusion can happen um, and, and the induction step in this particular proof. This is something I think that people might have a hard time with. So induction hypothesis. So here we get to assume the induction hypothesis is basically, we get to assume our statement is true for some uh, integer k greater than or equal to 2. So we suppose, so here's where, let me just emphasize it, we assume sk is true. So now I'm going to write down s sub k. So what is that? That's uh, the product of k odd integers is odd. So suppose that the product of 
Hey, odd integers. Is odd for some k greater than or equal to 2. We don't know what the k is. We just know that the product of k odd, odd integers is odd for some k greater than or equal to 2. Now we're going to jump to the induction step. So induction step. And then here's where we have to show s sub k plus 1 is true. So to do that, we have to show that the product of k plus 1 odd integers is odd. So that's the claim. The claim is that the product of k plus 1 odd integers is odd. So let t sub 1 t sub k plus 1 be k plus 1 odd integers. And we have to look at their product. Okay, we have to look at their product. So then, we look at t sub 1 times dot 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 times t sub k plus 1. Well, we somehow need to involve the induction hypothesis, which says that the product of k odd integers is odd. Here we have k plus 1 odd integers. So the natural thing to do is write it like this, times dot 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 times t sub k times t sub k plus 1. So we write down the odd integer before t sub k plus 1, which is t sub k, based on our notation. And this product here, this is, this is going to be odd by hypothesis, by the induction hypothesis. So this is going to be by ih. So this will be equal to, say, 2l plus 1 times tk plus 1, where l is an integer. Okay? That's because, that's because it's odd, right? That's because it's odd. But wait a minute, we know this is also odd, okay? So this is also odd, and I could, I could write it down like 2w plus 1 and like re-justify the whole thing, but we've already shown that the product of two odd integers is odd, so we can just kind of invoke that if we want to, um, but I won't, I won't, I'll, I'll show it again, 2L plus 1, 2W plus 1, where W is in Z, and this step here is because, because TK plus 1 is odd, and then you can multiply this out, again, it's the same reasoning we used in the base case, so 2L times 2W is 4LW, 2L times 1 is 2L. 1 times 2W is 2W. 1 times 1 is 1. Going a little bit fast. This is 2, parentheses, 2LW, plus L, plus W, plus 1. Where? Going fast, because we, we, we just did this. And then this piece here is an integer. Hopefully I don't mess up due to my speed. <laughs> so, we've shown that the product of k plus 1 integers is equal to 2 times an integer plus 1. That's precisely what it means for the product of k plus 1 integers to be odd. So, this shows that product of k plus 1 integers is odd. Let's recap what we've done, just for clarity of thought. So at the beginning, we had to show that the product of m odd integers is odd for all m greater than or equal to 2. We showed the base case was true by considering the smallest integer in question, which is 2. So we took two odd integers. We showed that their product was odd. In the induction hypothesis, we assume that our statement is true for some uh, integer k greater than or equal to 2. So we showed that the product, or suppose that the product of k odd integers is odd. In the induction step, we have to show that it's true for k plus 1 odd integers. So we look at k plus 1 odd integers, we multiply them, we break it up into two products. Uh, the, the first product being an actual product of k integers, which is odd by the induction hypothesis, and the second factor, rather, being another odd integer. So odd times odd is odd, 
And so we finished the proof. I went ahead and re-justified all the work we did here, uh, up here rather. So it's the same process. You probably didn't really have to do it because you can just say, um, you know, this is odd, this is odd, the product of odd integers is odd, so you're done. So kind of just some extra stuff maybe. And so thus, uh, we showed that the base case was true, and we showed that if our statement is true for k, it's also true for k plus 1. Because we showed those two things, by the principle of mathematical induction, our statement is true for all integers greater than or equal to 2. So thus, the product, let me just say, how about thus, by the principle of mathematical induction, by the principle of mathematical induction, the product of m odd integers is odd for all m greater than or equal to 2. And that completes our induction proof. Kind of a fun problem. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. Good luck.